you like working with heavy equipment and are interested in the oil industry, think about becoming an oil and gas well logger or tester. This is a group of occupations that use specialized tools, instruments and equipment to test rock formations for oil and gas well potential. Let's learn more from a person who works in one of these occupations. Hello, my name is Kyle Rector. I'm a natural gas and oil well production testing operator. And what we do is test production value of natural gas and oil wells for oil companies around Canada. As a production well tester, it's our job to determine the amount of oil or gas and measure it at the rate it comes out and relay information on the production value of each oil and gas well for the oil companies. We also provide a level of safety and information regarding the pressures and what we're actually extracting out of the ground before it's sent off to the next stage of production. A typical day for a test operator would be to meet up with your supervisor or whoever you're working with that day, go to location, uh, get your protective equipment on, your boots and your hard hat and uh, attend a safety meeting about the details of the jobs going on at that particular day, uh, do a safety walk around, make sure all, all your equipment is in good working order and then continue on with your daily activities. A well test operator will assist with the setup of equipment and then the monitoring of pressures and fluid levels that come out of the well and relay that information to the supervisor and then it's sent off to the oil companies. Our job takes place mainly outside. We work in all types of weather so if you can brave the elements then this job might be for you. The majority of our work takes place in the field. It could be close to home, it could be way out far away from home, but uh, I think that's what I like about it. A little, a little bit of travel involved and you never really know where you're going to end up. I would say 90% of the training is provided by the company in the field and doesn't really require post-secondary education. Uh, the other 10% would be made up of uh, training basically for your safety tickets. After high school I was interested in getting into the oil and gas industry. I had family involved in it and I had heard a lot of good things about the industry and uh, testing happened to be where I started out and I've been here ever since. For one just starting in the industry you'd probably end up in the shop doing various tasks around the shop to uh, get a guy familiar with procedures and some of the equipment before getting sent out into the field. Well, a prerequisite for the industry, especially with testing, would require one to have uh, an H2S training certificate, a first aid training certificate, and then further from there the companies would provide safety glasses, gloves, hard hats, coveralls, etc. Skills that would be an asset for this job would be uh, to be mechanically inclined, uh, be able to participate in a team environment, and uh, great communication skills is key too. A good knowledge of tools would be an asset for this job. You're using wrenches, hammers, pipe wrenches. What I look for in a new test operator is someone who is eager to work, um, energetic, easy to get along with and good communication skills. For an entry level position you would start out as a night assistant operator and then once experienced enough you could move into the daylight hours and uh, be a day hand and then uh, once you're experienced enough to run things on your own you would go to night supervisor and then once experienced enough there you would go to day supervisor and from there who knows. And some of the challenges I like about the job are working outdoors with different weather you know uh, can be a physical challenge, mental challenge, it's not your typical nine to five you meet a variety of different people and uh, it's an excellent wage and it's a well-rounded job. I think at the end of the day you feel a sense of self-accomplishment. Uh, you went out and provided your best effort and be part of a team and did your job safely and professionally. Employers prefer to hire high school graduates and train loggers and testers on the job. Related courses and experience are definite assets and a valid driver's license is often required. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website and learn about related occupations like snubbing services operator and well testing services supervisor. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca